you had the team table and the matches table and we perform this join of these two tables on either the team can be host team or can be guest team so this is what we ended up with welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the advanced sql 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced sql problems on topics like select basic joins basic aggregate functions sorting and grouping advanced select and join sub queries and advanced topic like window function and common table expression in this video we are going to solve this question called team scores in football tournament and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in okay so this is the 11th video of the series team scores in football tournament and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so wayfair kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called teams with two different columns team id and team name team id is the column with unique values of this table each row of this table represents a single football team we are also given a second table called matches with five different columns match id host team guest team host goals and guest goals match id is the column of unique values of this table each row is a record of a finished match between two different teams teams host team and guest team are represented by their ids in the teams table team id and they scored host goals and guest goals goals respectively you would like to compute the scores of all teams after all matches points are awarded as follows a team receives 3 points if they win the match that is scored more goals than the opponent a team receives 1 point if they draw the match that is scored the same number of goals as the opponent team team receives no points if they lose a match that is scored fewer goals than the opponent we are asked to write a solution that selects the team id team name and number of points of each team in the tournament after all the described matches return the result table ordered by number of points in decreasing order and in case of a tie order the records by team id in increasing order okay let's go through this example because the question is very lengthy but let's see right so for example let's do for uh, team id 10 that is lead call fc and see after all these five matches what is the score they are standing at so team id 10 is has played what match one as a host team match two as a guest team and match three as a host team again and these are the three matches now in match one the host scored three goals and guest scored zero so obviously who won the host team that is lead code fc won this and here the points awarded is going to be three now for match id2 lead code fc is a guest team and they drew the match so here the points is going to be one so three plus one right now is four and then again host team and they scored five as compared to the guest one who only scored one so obviously they again won so three points here as well so three plus one plus three so seven so at the end of all these matches lead code fc is standing at seven points similarly you can do that for team id 20 30 40 and all that so here if you look at it right and then we arrange by number of points in descending manner in case of a tie by team id in ascending order so you see lead code fc ended up with seven points so that is what we need to do in this case so just like we described right now what we can do is for every team in the team table what we can do is we can try to find out okay what are the different matches the team was involved in either as a host team or a guest team so okay team id 10 that is lead code fc is involved in match id 1 2 and 3 then we can you know calculate okay whether the host won whether they drew whether they lost etc so the first thing that should we should do is we should perform a join of teams table on matches table so perform a left join that is reach out to the matches table to see what all matches each of these teams are involved in so what we can do is from this table called teams let's alias this as t let me left join the matches table m on now your team can be either a host team or a guest team so on t dot team id is equal to m dot host team or you can have t dot team id is equal to m dot guest team okay and let me go ahead and do select star to see what we need in our output okay so if i just drag it to the left and let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay 
So if we look at our output, let me just drag it to the left more and above. Okay. So here for every, so we saw that, right? Lead code FC is involved in three matches, match ID one, two, and three. So whether they were the host team or the guest team, and then the host goals and guest goals, right? So let me switch to Excel so that I can display this in a graphical manner. So here you had the teams table and the matches table, and we perform this join of these two tables on either the team can be host team or can be guest team. So this is what we ended up with, right? So for every team we have, okay, what are the matches they are involved in? Who was the host team? Who was the guest team? Host goals and guest goals. And now once you have this, then you can simply go ahead and add a column called points for every match the team is involved, whether they get three points, one point or zero point. So for example, here, how many points lead code FC should get? They were the host team and the host scored more than guests. So obviously they won. So here the point should be three. Similarly here, since the match was draw, so one point. Here again one, so three. For New York FC in match ID one, so they were the guest team and guest scored less than host. So here they should get zero points. For New York FC match ID four, they were the host and host scored more than the guest. So here they should give three points. Similarly, we can do that. So what we can do is we can perform a case when statement that, hey, if the team ID is the host team and host scored more than the guest, then you get three points because if you are a host and host is scoring more then you won. If you are a guest team and guest is scoring more, then again, you also get the three points because you won. If you are a host team or a guest team and number of host goals and guest goals are equal, then you get point one. In all other cases, you get the point zero. Why? Because what are all other cases? First case is you are the host team, but guest score more. So obviously you lost the match, you get point zero. You are the guest team and host scores more. So again, you lost the match, so again, you get zero. And then there are cases like Chicago FC where you are not playing any match. So obviously at the end of the tournament, you are going to be at zero points. So we can go ahead and do this. So here, let me just, you know, okay. So let's do case when your, you are the host team, right? So case when T dot team ID is equal to M dot host team. And so firstly, you are the host team and M dot host goals are greater than M dot guest goals. Then you receive three points, right? Similarly, let me just copy this because it is just, you know, typing the same thing with just slight changes. Then what is happening is if you are the guest team, right? If you are the guest team and guest goals are more than guest goals are more than host goals. So then again, you won and you get three points. Now, uh, actually it should not be case when it should start with when. Okay. Now what happens is there is a possibility of being drawn, right? So in that case, what happens is so either you are a host or a guest, it does not matter. But if your number of goals are equal, then obviously it is going to be a draw and you get points one in all other cases. So else you are basically losing the match or not playing the match. So else you get zero and end as let's alias this as points. Okay. Let me go ahead and run this. Okay. So if we look at the number of points, let me just drag it to the left more and above. Okay. So now we have for every match, this particular team is involved, how many points they get. So here they won. So three draw one again, one three, uh, here they won. So three lost. So zero and so on. So obviously now once you have for every team and the number of points, then all you need to do is group by the team ID and the team name because you need that in your output and sum the points and order by decreasing manner, right? Because that is what we is left. So if I switch back to Excel, so here what we did was we added the points column using this again, same thing. If you are a host team and host is more then you win. If you are a guest team and guest scores more than three, if it is a tie, then you get one else you get zero and ends point. So we added this points column. And then what we do was basically this entire thing, right? So this is what we have 
right now right now what we can do is we can either save this in a common table expression temporary table etc but if you know that you can simply go ahead and do that or what you can do is you can simply put this entire thing right so whatever code right now you have this entire thing is basically producing this entire code is basically producing this table right so what you can do is from right so from what you can do is from this entire thing because this entire thing is producing the table that we have and let's ls this as table t what you can do is now simply go ahead group by the team id and the team name and sum the points so what we do is group by t dot team id is and then t dot team name and then what we do was is return t dot team id t dot team name and what we need was is the sum of t dot points and let me alias this as whatever is required in our outputs i think it is number of points let me just drag it to the right let's look at what our output looks like okay yeah so it should be number of points okay so here this should be number of points okay i think this looks good and we also need to order by number of points in decreasing order and in case of a type by team id in increasing manner so let me just drag it to the left and at the end what we do was order by number of points in decreasing manner and in case of a type t dot team id in increasing manner okay let me just drag it down so this is how the entire code will look like let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if i drag it above we can see that this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, if we look at it this is accepted this is how the solution looks like right so it's kind of a long solution but you know this flowchart will tell you that okay what we did was firstly what are the matches the per the team is involved in then what when we had that then we calculate okay for every match the team is involved in how many points they were able to get out of it we created the points column and then we simply grouped by the team id team name and the number of points we sum that and arrange this in decreasing manner so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video